All right, so load in here at the Nashville Guitar Show. We're gonna get this stuff out and get it into there. Guitar to go. And some tubes. And a table. And a We're done. Well, here is our booth for this show. We got the 67 J45 in player's condition. Also got the uh, Gibson Frankie, we bought that. Some Martins. Got the R8 and R7 over there. The 1965 Mustang right there. And some other nice stuff. Well, welcome once again to another edition of the show. We are in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeehaw! And we're at the Nashville Guitar Show. And this is uh, going to be a fun weekend. Um, lots of dealers that sold out. So this is going to be a great show. Can't wait to see what happens this week. Can't wait to see what we find, what we see, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll take a look around here. I think I'm noticing rough the bat. The floor is very uneven. This is a rodeo arena and uh, floors are very uneven. So if I trip and fall while I'm doing this vlog, I'm sorry. <laughs> Conversion. It appears to me that a lot of people brought out a lot of good stuff for the show. Now, this show has dealers from all over the country all the way from California, all the way down to Florida. I don't know what it is about this show. There's uh, just, it seems like there's a lot of guitars, but I don't know. Ah, the Fender Custom Shop, mother of toilet seat, amp and guitar. We had one of these in the shop not too long ago. Remember in the days when somebody carried those by yourself? Two people have to carry that 810 cabinet, Marshall cabinet. Yeah, buddy. Don't miss those days one bit. Ah, DeLorean. It used to be a shop in Orlando. I think it was George's Music out on iDrive. They used to have one of these in their showroom. Pretty funny to see it in a guitar show, but here it is. We see them all the time at Universal. What is this thing missing? Oh, I know what's missing. It's missing the flux capacitor. So as I wander along here, the first day of the show, I noticed that Vince Gill was in the house looking at some guitars. He goes on tour tomorrow, and here he is looking at guitars. That's a true guitar player. Sorry, Dave, I didn't have enough money to buy this Dan Armstrong. Well, this side of the arena is still getting set up. Well, we just sold a guitar to Tanahashi, the wrestler, and he left his water behind. I don't know what that says. Anybody tell me what that says? It says something, but, you know. Tanahashi by it, so. New Japan Wrestling. Y'all know who that is? Oh, a guitar after my own heart. 67 Vs, I love them. So, dealers from all over the world are actually here. It's a very wide mix of people here. I believe it's a lot of the people from the West Coast and a lot of people from the East Coast. This is one of the very few shows that really has a really wide mix. 
And naturally we have the Japanese buyers here as well. So sometimes you, uh, you have a guitar in your booth and you just never know what the story of it is. Well, this is one. This uh, red line here, this is Steve Smith. He actually built this guitar. Yeah, and my friend from Canada told me about it. See if you can see down in there. Yeah, there it is. We've got, uh, we're going to find out who the original owner was. Take it from there. It's great shape. It's in great shape. Good How long would it take you to build that guitar? Oh, we make a lot of different things at the same time, so it's it's hard to tell. But, I mean, what, 30 hours or more. Or, so it's all hand done and all done on our shop. We make our fretboards. We make everything. Wow. That's so yeah. so wild that he brought you in here. You yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's been a fan for a while, and uh, we appreciate our fans and customers. Awesome. Thanks for, for, for offering it up here. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Nice guitar. Thanks. The late 60s Paisley Telly. Looks a little faded, but still a very nice piece. So it's always good when we see people come to the booth and they say, we love watching your videos and stuff. And if you're one of those people, please hit the like and subscribe button and become part of the channel. We would love to have you be uh, part of the community of the Radies Guitar Attic. And uh, once again, there he is, folks. He's trying to buy stuff. So if you like looking at Bruce trying to buy stuff or me talking about stuff, hit the like and subscribe. Are you selling What's coin picks on? again? I am. I'm glad to see you again, Randy. I'm always here. You are. I am. I'm like a regular fixture with these shows now. This guy right here is ready to rock. What's he got? A Bowser Super Mario guitar pick. Oh, cool. That's really cool. What? I was going to say, I thought Bowser like uh, the Sha Na Na guy. He, he's like 40 years too young for that. <laughs> you never know. These kids, somehow they pick up on this stuff. I don't know how they find this stuff out there. I guess they find these old YouTube videos and they, they uh, do it. You guys are on my we're gonna, YouTube we're gonna, channel. Yeah, so we're going to conduct some business. We're going to let you go. I'm going to get, yeah. Go get a churro and a chili dog. Okay. We'll catch you there. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> so here it is. We are we're buddies from Flash Flood. Yes. The Moving. Going to move to uh, Orlando maybe soon. Think about it. So everybody that's in Orlando, you might finally actually have a, a decent guitar shop there. Um, other than Sam Ash and Guitar Center. And it's in the works. We will hopefully see you soon. So how big of a place do you have? Looking for like 3,000 square feet, we'll probably have two to 300 guitars, tons of pedals, pro audio, recording stuff. But should be a pre pretty big, a big small shop. Pretty big small shop. I, I, 3,000 is actually a big shop. Now. Yeah. Maybe it'll be a big shop. Yeah. You know me, I only got like 700 square feet. That's, that's, it. that's true, but you shove a lot of stuff in there. So it, I it, do. It, I, I do. I shove as much as I can without making the fire marshal go nuts. Right. Oh, she a... did visit us the other day. We didn't need to make some adjustments. <laughs> See, if you're watching this, I, I got you. I'll, I'll make those changes you asked for. <laughs> so check it out when they uh, move into Orlando. <laughs> Here's some of the fine examples of what you'll find at Jimmy Wallace's Guitars in Dallas. Don't forget, Jimmy does have the guitar show coming up in Dallas very soon. So Art came by to see us. And Art works at Gibson. He actually got us in the Gibson plant last night. And there's Bruce. Yeah, I gotta get you in there too. So last night we went to the Gibson factory. Art took us on a tour. That was really cool. I thank you again, man. Dude. I do appreciate it. That was a lot of yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And so if you see an AR on your tag and you get a guitar from Gibson, you know Art checked it out and said it was good. And he's picky, so. If your guitar made it through his hands, you know it was a good one. So, can't say that for a lot of people that have worked in the past at Gibson, unfortunately. You know, they might have been, I don't know, 
doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing on the break. But <laughs> anyways, but you know if it says AR on the tag, it's a good one. So thanks again. And from Nashville, Tennessee, Art, tell people bye. Later. <laughs> so every year we come here to Franklin, when we do, uh, we always stop at this place, the Sportsman's Lodge. It's really good food and uh, we enjoy it. So we're going to go in here and get some food. I encourage you, if you're up here, try this place out. It's good. Mmm, hand cut fries. Just cut itself up. What you get? What is that, roast beef? Yes. Mm. Hey, thanks for watching today, and uh, we'll see you next time here on Randy's Guitar Attic. It's Betty by time. I'm tired. I'm a whoop pup. I got to go. And uh, come on, open doors. Open. Open the doors. I hate waiting for elevators. See you next time.